to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be using my Madame Glam gel polishes and some nail sugar decals to recreate a set of Tino Vose nails because I absolutely love them. So I've got Rosy Nude, I've got Grey Skies, I've got Reset and I've got Perfect White. I'm also going to use some gel paint, which I'll show you in the end. These are Nail Sugar Decals. You can get 10% off anything on the Nail Sugar website using my code NATMUG10. And also you can get 30% off Madame Glam using my code NATMUG30. I'm going to start by applying two coats of the Rosy Nude to each nail. And then I will cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to do a little like spongy job. So I'm putting a little bit of perfect white on my palette. Ignore that the eyeshadow applicator is dirty on one side. <laughs> the side I'm using is actually clean. So don't worry about that. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is um, it looks like he's ombre up one side. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to do an ombre. I'm going to kind of dab on the the white gel polish to make a kind of i don't know it was kind of sort of an ombre this one i went too high on so i do i did wipe a little bit of it off you have to remember that we are going to put smile um sorry we're going to put nail beds on these so we need to put a smile line on so if you go too far up then you will put the white onto the nail bed which you don't want to do i think you know what i mean um, i've cured that in the lamp and then i'm just adding a second layer this time i'm not going up as high so that it does kind of look like it's fading out i only put two coats of this on if you want to make it look more vivid you can put two on i just thought i'd just put one because i couldn't be bothered to do another one <laughs> <laughs> lazy wench then i'm gonna just get like with a very thin well uh, it's probably not that thin but using the white gel polish i just wanted to mark on my smile lines don't worry because we are going to go over them again afterwards so this is literally just like a kind of guide they're not as ex i like I, I like a nice extended elongated nail bed these ones are quite dumpy which i mean in the end they looked fine but initially i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna like these and this is kind of like a trust the process set because during this i thought this is gonna look is this gonna look all right or not and i really like the end result but during actual doing the the, the creating i was like i'm not sure about this oh. um also this reset gel polish this is the dark gray this is very pigmented and i did put this on a little bit too thick on one of the nails and it did end up wrinkling so that is just a note for me to remind you guys not to put gel polishes on too thick because they will not cure properly if you need to do two thin layers that's what i should have done so this one i've put the gray all the way down one side and on we're going to do that on two nails and then on the other two nails we're going to do the same thing but we're not going to go onto the nail bed. So can you see I've just marked out the smile line or half the smile line. And I'm just going to fill in the free edge section. Obviously just one side. And I just realised that he does two sides. I've put the grey on, on every single same side of the nail. I think Tino does two on one side and two on the other. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> know yeah so we're gonna do that on the other two nails then you have to decide which snowflakes you want this was actually harder than i thought it took me a long time to decide i actually cut out a lot of footage here because i kept turning it around thinking shall i use that one shall i use that one <laughs> and on a couple of these i am going to cut them in half and use them on different nails and i do like to cut off a lot of the excess as well and then to apply them, I will use a stamper. So I've put the decal upside down on the stamper. I'm just going to dampen my brush with some water and just dab it onto the back of the decal. Now, these decals are some of the first decals Karen done. And I think the, the paper that she prints on must be a different brand. I'm going to actually have to ask her because this one took normally... Like with the newer ones, the backing comes off really quickly. This one took a little bit longer than normal and I wondered if she changed her... I don't know, it doesn't doesn't make any difference. It still applies the same. There's no 
Do you know, you know what I mean? And there we go, we'll just stamp it on. Uh, and then I'm going to stamp another one in this one. So a couple of the nails, I add two snowflakes and a couple of the nails, I just add one. On this one here, I'm just going to cut off that excess because you don't want that hanging over. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the other nails with the snowflakes. There we go. Ta-da! And we're going to come back to the the that bit so don't worry so i'm going to use the velvet matte top coat now to top coat the nails as i said before we are going to use gel paints but madame glam's gel paints don't have a tacky layer so we can work on top of finished top coated nails which i love there we go you can do them shiny as well i just think because they're going to be sweater nails they look a lot better matte finished because sweaters are not shiny they're matte well, you could have you could have a shiny side and a matte side, couldn't you? This is the gel paint. I love Madame Glam's gel paints. Right, we're going to go over our smile line. Don't worry if the line's thicker than the previous line. The previous line was just our little guide, so I didn't want to make it too thick. So just neaten up that smile line. And then we're going to go down the grey bit. That's just going to neaten up that bit. So this is when everything was like coming together because the grey, the lines of the grey looked super, like without this white edging, it looked quite messy. But now with this, you know, with this, it just defines everything more. Is that the right word? Defines? I don't know. Yeah. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. This is where you need a steady hand. It's the lines. These lines were so tricky. I hate do. I surprised to be honest that i didn't end up wiping it off at some point because if you've got a striper brush it's a lot easier this is just a detailer brush so if you've got a longer striper brush use your stripe like i was like oh that wasn't too bad <laughs> and then i'm just gonna thicken it up a little bit but i don't want it too thick but i want it thicker than than the previous small line line that we've done there we go then just, just do the side of the small line and then we're going to do the same thing on this one. Oh, I can't believe that went. There we go. Yes. Winning. And then again, just I'm just going to slightly thicken it up. And then don't forget to do the, the small line bit. Right, that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I will come back into the, the the nails i will come back with the gel paint the white gel paint in a minute but i'm going to use gray skies which is the lighter gray i'm going to put a little bit of this on my palette actually i do put quite a lot on and then we're going to start to paint on the like the cable knit pattern this pattern is is probably one of the easier sweater nail designs you can do so it's kind of like an i want to say an s i can't i'm rubbish at describing things it is like an s isn't it S, yeah but it's on its side but you just put like yeah oh shut up that's i don't know just do this just copy this <laughs> it's like a line and then a line and then you connect the lines with a slightly not not quite a horizontal line but a slightly like on the wonk horizontal line do you know what i mean nope probably not but once you get something like that don't cure it sprinkle it with acrylic or dip powder i'm sure dip powder will work people have asked me could you use dip powder i don't see why not so you want to do this until there are no shiny spots appear. If you get any shiny spots appear, you want to sprinkle it again with some more acrylic. And then once it's completely matted, you want to shove it in the lamp. And I will shove it in the lamp for 60 seconds, so double cure. I'm going to do the same thing on these ones, just all the way down. And then once they're all cured, like so, take a soft brush, a nice soft fluffy brush... And I'm just going to dust them off over the acrylic pot. I'm just knocking everything over here. I don't know what's going on. And then you've just got this really cool, like, oh, I just love sweater nails. 
I love it when winter comes. Like after Halloween, I'm all about the sweater nails because I just they're just like one of my favourite things to do. Oops, knocked it off again. There we go. Right, and then um, using Madame Glam's dotting tool, I'm just going to add some little like starry starry things and the white gel paint again. Look. So you can add. I don't know. I added two on some nails and three on some other nails just gonna add little dots for now this one i'm gonna do three like one between the snowflakes and then this one obviously two. Oh, i skip forward and then without putting any product onto your brush you're just gonna use the product that's in that little bead that you put on the on the nail you're just gonna pull the product out up down left right and it's gonna make little little light stars and i love these if you put product on your brush the little flicks that you flick out would be a lot thicker they wouldn't be nice and thin so make sure you don't have any extra product like don't feel like you need to dip your brush in the product to make the lines the product that's already on that little dollop will be plenty to make the the little lens flare things i don't know what you call them i don't know what the right word is and then obviously because it's a gel paint it's going to need a 60 second cure but i think that finishes off those little sections quite nicely and then lastly i'm going to use some these are preciosa um ab rhombus flat back crystals these are from crystal parade they're gorgeous i just love them also i've got in here some little preciosa ab round flat back crystals we're going to use those as well and the rachel wilder's crystal fix you get 30 grams in here that's loads these are all from crystal parade and you can use code nat5 to save five percent when you order from crystal parade this has got a precision tip as well which i quite like however i did put a little bit too much on i was like yeah we'll just go straight in for the tube if you want to just like squeeze some out onto a palette and then put it on just make sure it's not near any lights to cure it but mine didn't cure which is great obviously okay so then we're gonna add a i'm not doing the exact same crystal placement that tino done but i am doing very similar uh he, he done like a little cuff crystal cuff and he had some i think he had a pair and a raindrop um i'm not doing as yeah I, I didn't have a pair and a raindrop i just grabbed the rhombus because i thought it was quite cute and so with the crystal cuff i've got the bigger crystal in the middle and then as you go around towards the side edge they taper down in size and then because i had a lot of the gel the product the gel thingy i put some caviar beads on the top just to fill in the gaps and then that will need a oh I, I went out of shot there as well it didn't i wasn't out of shot it just didn't focus so i just zoomed forward anyway cure that for 60 seconds do the same thing on the other nail and then this is the finished i actually really love these um just a massive thank you for being an inspiration um to tino again i love his nails they're amazing um thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free god bless love you all and i'll see you in the next one love you bye